Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So over and above rolling out our stable channel updates for Windows 10 and Windows 11 uh, earlier this week, Microsoft has now also rolled out a new set of builds for the beta channel insiders, which started rolling out on the 26th of July. And um, the builds for this week are build 22621 and 22631.2115 with the update KB5028251. Now, as I have mentioned previously, the beta channel now to some extent or the, or the other is where Microsoft is finalizing our next feature update, which will be Windows 11 version 23H2, which will be rolling out in the latter months of this year, 2023. And because once again this week there's not much new in the beta channel, this is a good indication, as I've mentioned, that things are starting to stabilize now. There's no new features and now Microsoft is more or less focusing now on stabilizing the build, um, which will be rolling out as our next feature update as mentioned. Now, although um, it's mainly a bug fix update, there is a significant improvement though for Narrator um, for users of traditional Chinese for build 22631. And in the stable version of Windows 11, um, as many of you may know, Narrator is an accessibility feature and is a screen reader that describes what's on your screen. And Microsoft has mentioned that Narrator now users who interact with traditional Chinese characters are now able to do this with confidence while using Narrator and the IME candidate window in Windows. They carry on to say this was accomplished by creating a traditional Chinese dictionary for detailed reading. And they mention that Narrator now consumes the dictionary to disambiguate each traditional Chinese word. Users should be aware, though, that Narrator detailed reading is only supported for the Taiwan language pack. The Hong Kong language pack is not supported with Narrator. So that is an improvement rolling out for build 22631. Now, there is a long list of fixes for both versions um, of this new beta channel build um, that have rolled out. And this is, uh, to some extent or the other, the same um, bug fix update that did roll out for both stable versions of Windows 11. So I'm not going to mention all of these fixes. Um, it's a very similar update because, as I mentioned, Microsoft now busy finalizing our next feature update. And just to go through a couple of the highlights, uh, just to collate them quickly, if you are in the beta channel for the purpose of this video. Uh, these fixes include an update to the handwriting software input panel that now meet level 3 requirements. And that's a bit of a new improvement rolling out. There's also a fix for inconsistent reporting of the CPU level 2 cache, which is a performance uh, boost and fix. Uh, there's also a fix for printer drivers that unload unexpectedly. And there's also a fix for missing display and audio devices after a system restores from sleep. And there's also an update to make Windows Autopilot policy more resilient. And there's a whole lot of other new fixes that have rolled out, very similar to what we see in the stable channel. And over and above the fixes, um, just to look at the known issues, because we are still dealing with a preview uh, version, and obviously um, we hope that Microsoft does sort these known issues out before they do roll out uh, to the stable version um, over the next couple of months. So there we get a general known issue, three new known issues for the File Explorer, taskbar we get two, and there's also a new known issue for the taskbar, and then we get a new input known issue, and then there's a known issue for Narrator. And just a quick recap regarding the beta channel. Uh, Microsoft says the beta channel is the place where uh, preview experiences that are closer to what we will ship to our general customers will take place, basically. However, just remember this. This does not mean every feature they try out in the beta channel will ship. So always take note of that when we are dealing with uh, beta channel builds that Although it's a good indication that features will roll out to the stable version, it's not always 100% guaranteed. So that's what's new this week in builds 22621 and 22631.2115. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.